So in the introduction, when we talked about using PyCharm, I said you really should use the professional edition for this course. Now, I know some of you out there are saying, nope, not doing it, but you still wanna try it out and you're using the community edition. And I wanna give you a little bit of help here. You can't go to PyCharm community edition, which is 100% free, and easily open and run these pyramid web applications. Let me show you. Here you can see I have PyCharm CE for community edition. Now here's the repository uh, demos that off of GitHub that I've been working in. And here's the first set of starter code. So let's go ahead and just make a copy of that so I don't alter it. And I'll show you how to launch this in PyCharm Community Edition. The first step would also launch it in Professional Edition. So we go over here and you wanna have the directory selected that has setup and development and production in it. That's true for all the versions of PyCharm. And this is really your root of your project for your website. So I'm gonna take this and drop it on PyCharm. You see it loads up the project. Uh, don't really need to see the tips, do we? This is a new virtual machine I have not been using before. I want to start fresh so you guys have exactly the same thing I do for this demo. So here you can see the project and everything we've been working with, at least in this edition. And if I drop this onto the professional edition, it's very possible that it would have a run configuration for Pyramid. If it didn't, I'd be able to go up here and hit edit and then I'd hit plus and there'd be something about pyramid and it would give me all the right options. But this is uh, the community edition, it doesn't support web apps, so let me just show you. So I'll pick an unnamed, just basic Python app and over here I'll call it web or something like that and set single instance only because that's really frustrating. Now the script, what script do I run? Well, first of all, there's a couple of things we still have to do to get everything ready. So let's look at my desktop really quick. I'll just do this work on the desktop really quick since this is not where things are staying. So we have our two web starter project there and in there we have the right folder, the one we just opened. We also wanna have a virtual environment. So let me go ahead and make that instead of using the system environment. So that makes the environment and then we got to source activate it. Notice the prompt changes. And now we're going to need to set up our web app. Really what I need to complete the step behind me in PyCharm is I need Pyramid installed, but I'm also gonna have to do all the other setup stuff. So let's go ahead and just take care of that. And now, now that we know, now that we have the virtual environments Python active, we can just say Python setup.py develop like that. That was spelling, develop. All right, looks like everything got installed and set up correctly. Uh, the thing that we really need to see is if we ask for which pserve, we should now have this pserve script set up here. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna tell PyCharm to run that as the script. And the parameter we wanna give it is just gonna be this file right here. So let's get the path to that. Here's a cheap little way to do it. So we just come down here and we just pass the development.ini, say run single instance, give it a name, and we also need to give it an interpreter. So remember, we wanna give it the one that we had just created. So let's close this for a minute and register the other new one we just created with PyCharm. Since I just created it, it doesn't know about this one. So let's go over here and say add local and grab it off the desktop. Now we want to edit this. Notice how it has the two processes running. It's basically indexing all the libraries in there and uh, you're not allowed to run code while that's happening in PyCharm. And so for whatever reason, they don't let you edit your configuration. There we go, now it's back. Let's edit this and we can just pick the environment that we chose. Okay, so we registered our package in our virtual environment which installed pserve as one of the dependencies. So now we can reference it. We also point to the development.ini or any other configuration file you wanna run. And we chose that same virtual environment. Now we should be able to run it and see what we get. Ta-da, look at that. Serving on this, we click it. That looks like Pyramid to me. So now you can see how to set up and run Pyramid web applications in PyCharm Community Edition. Like I said, it's not as powerful as the professional edition and I'd recommend you get it. But if you don't wanna get it, here's a nice, uh, nice fallback case.